Ash, to the end of this question from uh, my backseaters and other folks flying around with me is, you know, that are we there yet? You seem to have come up with an elegant solution that eliminates my having to deal with them. Tell me what you've got here because it sounds very intriguing. Well, let me show you what we have done is we have a, a, a CO detector, which was originally our CO detector. We also have it certified as a Bluetooth device. What it is is that we take the airplane's GPS data location and retransmit it via Bluetooth to the iPad. And what we're doing here is that we're taking the airplane's GPS location by using our Model 454 and retransmitting it. At this point, we're waiting for Flight Guide to finish the release, but whatever is in the airplane's aviation data format, time, ETA, destination, speed, GPS location, will all show up on the iPad. And what the great thing about this device is that it can handle up to four iPads simultaneously. So if you're sitting in an SR-22, or once you turn on your GPS and say I'm going direct from Dallas to Houston, you will be able to get all the ETA, your speeds and bearings all show up on the iPad. It is plug and play with our existing units and all we just do is looking one data from the airplane's GPS to our box. Right now, we, we can interface with any device that transmits the standard aviation data format. Okay. Right now, majority of general aviation is Garmin. So it's all Garmin products do support this product. So that's from uh, 430 all the way to the G1000. Okay. The unit is TSO'd as, uh, because this is what the certification got on our CO detector. As far as the installation goes, if you're doing a brand new installation, we're looking at maybe two hours just to mount the structure. Okay. It is really power ground and one RS-232 to our unit. The price is going to be $899 and it will be able to handle four iPads. And then also the other great feature about the, this product is that we're going to be making it so if you're not an aviation enthusiast and all you're looking is the Google Maps, you'll be able to go to Google Map and just, uh, and, and just look at the Google Maps. And if you're a pilot or co-pilot, you'll be, if you're using, uh, like right now our kickoff customer is uh, Flight Guide, you'll be able to see all the ETA and everything from Flight Guide. And if you're using Jepson or ForeFlight, any of those, you will be getting the GPS location. And this will work iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad 1, 2, 3, the whole bit? That is correct. Anything with iOS device, it, it will be working with that. That's an awfully convenient little device to have. Now, where does this go from here? I imagine with this kind of capability, there's probably some interesting potential for upgrades. Well, yes, yes, that is the future. We're hoping once we have this thing resolved, our goal is to make all four as a network so that you guys, another four people sitting in the airplane, can text each other and uh, make it more of a, like a game type of a system. Outstanding. And availability? Uh, we are planning to ship in uh, first week of April. Uh, well, like I said, we have already received the FAA certification. All we're just waiting for is our final app certification from Apple. Aero TV is brought to you by... Abadine is the brand of choice for pilots who want innovative, easy-to-use avionics. And the new IFD 540 GPS Navcom sets a new standard for simplicity in communication and LPV navigation. As a slide-in replacement for existing 530 series navigators, and with a highly intuitive touchscreen control, the IFD 540 makes it much easier to access the information you want when you want it, reducing head downtime and making flying more enjoyable. Finally, you have a choice, and the choice is easy. Avidine.